It never ceases to amaze me just how powerful and impactful roller coasters are on daily lives. And what you're about to see is truly inspiring because you're about to hear from over 20 different people on just how impactful roller coasters have been in their life and how it's changed their life for the better. And then, near the end of the video, I'm going to share with you just how impactful roller coasters have been on my own personal life. Welcome to Theme Park Predictions. My name is Brandon, and I'm really glad you're here. So without further ado, here is how roller coasters have impacted the following people. Hey there, I'm Katie from Katie's Coasters. Theme parks have always been such a big part of my life ever since the young age of two. However, because of height restrictions for me, roller coasters weren't able to be included into my journey till the age of six. For when I rode my first big roller coaster at Dorney Park being Steel Force, that is when I completely fell in love with these massive thrill machines. And from there, I couldn't wait to start traveling more of the country to different parks to discover what other roller coasters were out there. Exploring many more coasters at various parks has led me to where I am now. I've had the opportunity to publicly share my journeys while broadcasting the coasters and parks in a positive way. I'm so very thankful for all the opportunities and friendships I have made through this exciting hobby of riding roller coasters. Thank you all so much for this wonderful ride, and that is how roller coasters have impacted my life. Hi, we're the Case family from Ohio, and how roller coasters have impacted our life is it has allowed us to spend quality family time together at Kings Island. We went 40 times last year. What about you, bub? Um, I think off of my fear. He got over his fears. And I just love roller coasters now. And I enjoyed it because I got to watch my kids get over their fear. Favorite <laughs> ride, real quick. Come right. back. Right. Miss it. Lightning rod. <laughs> Roller coasters have changed my life forever. Um, without roller coasters, I don't know what I'd be doing every day. I now have a new hobby where I literally build them and every single day I have something to look back at, invest in, love, and there's so many people, so many people involved with me that are all enthused about the same thing together. It is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> coasters because of all the elements and airtime. I love riding coasters because it's a great stress relief after a long day at work. I love riding coasters. It's because um, they're fun. Hello everyone, I'm Park Visions and riding coasters and going to parks is a great way to find positivity and you know escape the negativity. And, you know having fun to the fullest at a park and it's a great way to find positivity and it helped me because it helped me escape negativity and it built the new creativity that i never knew that i had so yeah if you want positivity definitely ride coasters and go to parks because you're definitely going to find some great vibes there and people with great vibes thank you guys for listening i'm park visions think positive smile today and keep riding coasters What's up, Brandon? Love your channel. And the reason I love roller coasters is because I lost about 60 pounds just to be able to ride them. I spend a lot more time with my family now. And then I started a YouTube channel, Theme Park Alvy, about four months ago. Nothing big, but I just like to record my um, different theme parks that I go to but anyway that's why I love roller coasters 
Hello, my name is Lucas and I'm from Wisconsin and I want to talk about how impactful roller coasters have been in my life. It started on Big Thunder Mountain in Magic Kingdom and then Space Mountain and I just got so into roller coasters and El Toro Ryan and Airtime Thrills, Theme Park Predictions, Coaster Studios, all those guys, they just, they've made my life so much better. This is the greatest hobby ever. Hi, I'm the C-H-A-L-L, and the thing about roller coasters and theme parks is why it's important to me and why it's like a lifelong uh, love is I grew up with the atmosphere, I grew up with the heritage, I grew up with the legacy, and I love how they try and carry that on, and I love the new modern tech in rides as well. Hey, I'm Dan the Coaster Man. I'm here at Six Flags Magic Mountain, the amusement park with more roller coasters than any other amusement park in the world. Oh, there goes Revolution. <laughs> what roller coasters mean to me is, or really like amusement parks as a whole, it's just a place you're able to go and kind of put everything behind you and just focus on having fun. And you often get to share these experiences with friends and family as well. So it's always just a great time and being able to enjoy it with others means the world. Hair Razor, my first looping coaster, has taught me many things, including to be more adventurous, to look forward to life, and to face my fears. Hair Razor has taught me that if fear doesn't include physical danger, then it would be easy to face it. I've built up more bravery since riding Hair Razor for the first time. I also want to be more adventurous by looking into more foods, hobbies, and more roller coasters, of course. I hope to ride more coasters because Hair Razor has taught me to be more adventurous. And I want to achieve this with the power of coasters. Why do I like roller coasters? Because roller coasters are like pizza. Even when they're bad, they're still really good. Why do I like roller coasters? Um, it's the speed. The height, uh, the screams, the inversions, uh, they are, you know, modern engineering marvels. Hi, I'm Kennedy. I live in Ohio and coasters have been something to get over my fear and my depression and my stress. And how a coaster has affected my life is that every time I get to ride a roller coaster, I get over my stress and depression and a lot of my fear of heights. Um, roller coasters and theme parks have changed my life because they have introduced me to like a hobby in some sorts. And um, they've taught me not to be afraid. <laughs> I think so. Well, I like roller coasters. They have Ferris wheels on the back. Yeah. <laughs> I love roller coasters a lot. It's not 53. Okay, to me, roller coasters means family. When I was growing up, I absolutely hated roller coasters, would not go on any of them, until my dad brought me to Cedar Point, sat me down on a coaster and sat next to me so I couldn't get off. And I'm so glad he did because I went from corkscrew to dragster within a day. And since then, my son now loves roller coasters. And at three years old, he's already been on five of them. So it was a father and son thing with my dad, and now it's a father and son thing with my son. So roller coasters have definitely been a bonding thing for me and my son to do. And I'm very excited to bring him to Cedar Point in the near future for the first time ever. Roller coasters have influenced my life in a very positive way. My first visit to Cedar Point was 10 years ago, my home park. And ever since then, I've been so enthralled with roller coasters and the community around it. And if you were to tell my 10 year old self, hey, you're gonna go to college one day and potentially even work at a theme park, I would never believe you. I probably would be actually like, who are you? But now I'm going to college this fall to become a, to work at Cedar Point and work in that industry. And I'm very excited to do so. Not only that, I've made great friends and had great experiences 
throughout the years at these different parks I visited. And now, 10 years later, after having my some of my best friends either met at the parks or hung out with them and became really close at the parks, I would never have had it any other way. Especially since I just love the community and the feel of the park so much. Howdy. So coasters to me are an escape from everyday life. If I'm ever having a rough day, I love getting on YouTube and listening to all the coaster updates and watching POVs just to kind of get away from everything and get my mind off of things. And even when I'm having a good day, I enjoy going to parks like Magic Mountain, Knott's Berry Farm, and really just enjoying these rides and not thinking about anything else but what's in front of me and enjoying the airtime, enjoying the positive G's, enjoying even just seeing rides, how they work, I love I love that. Um, roller coasters have had a huge impact in my life since I was younger. I've been researching them and learning how they work, learning all the stats, learning all the different places in the world where they're located. I just love going on my computer and researching and also occasionally traveling to these parks and riding these rides for the first time. That is the best feeling ever. And I'm really happy to have a coaster community to share that with. Thank you. Hi, my name's Nicholas, and roller coasters have impacted me in a lot of ways, and of course, good ways. Roller coasters made me a happier person, and yeah, it, it's true. I used to have days where I was just straight up depressed. But ever since I rode my first coaster over 200 feet, Paul's Cherry at Bush Gardens Williamsburg, it made me feel so much more alive and happy. Some people believe that water is life. Others place their faith in the ground and stability. Some, like Todd Joseph, believe that fire sanctifies and results in new life. I learned from an early age that air is the element that gives life meaning. Time spent in free fall focuses our attention on the fact that we are alive. What is air time but the simulation of impending doom? The simulation of death makes us feel so alive. That's the universe's ultimate joke. That's why we laugh when we roll. That's why some of us cry when we coast. Words can't convey what roller coasters mean to me. How could the embrace of raw, visceral, and primal fear even be described? I've always believed that the true meaning of life is to not die, just to survive. Roller coasters illuminate that true meaning of life in their simulation of death. So as you can see, it's amazing what these giant machines can really do, obviously for the adrenaline and for the thrill, but internally, roller coasters really can impact your life for the better and for the positive. And that is why the core of this channel is all about my slogan, think positive, smile today, and keep riding coasters. But the funny thing is, when I first started saying that at the end of the videos, I never really thought that it would come to where it is today. But now, I say it in every video at the end, and people use that saying whenever they're having a rough patch in life or a bad day or they're feeling depressed, even myself, and I actually use it in my daily life. With that being said, roller coasters have impacted my life ever since I was young because that was one thing I really looked forward to. I always struggled in school, I didn't have many friends, and honestly, my confidence was very, very low. And I often found myself just doodling on my notepad at school of drawing roller coasters and water parks and all these cool amusement parks. And all I wanted to do was design roller coasters when I grew up, just like many of us. However, I was not that good with math as far as the advanced math goes. So obviously I struggled. But then when I turned 21, I decided to go work at Kings Island. And luckily for me, I was a part of the Beast Crew in 2004. And that moment changed my life forever because I knew I had to drive. I wanted to be a part of the roller coaster and theme park community for the rest of my life. And I would do whatever I could to help promote the parks and the roller coasters in the most positive way possible. 
After working at four different parks all around the country over the course of eight years, I was lucky enough to meet my beautiful wife because I was working at one of the parks that she lived nearby. That was way back in 2007. And here we are now in 2023, we have a beautiful house, two kids, and a great loving family. And I thought of the saying that families that ride coasters together stay together. Now, obviously that's not always true, but it is kind of cute. Now, with that being said, roller coasters have always been a part of my life, as I just mentioned. And once I got out of the theme park industry, I really felt a void in my life. I was doing sales, I sold timeshares, you name it, I was doing it. And then it kind of dawned on me of, you know if El Toro Ryan and Coaster Studios and all these other great channels like Airtime Thrills, if they can do this and gain an audience, so can I. So at age 36, I decided to create theme park predictions during the middle of the pandemic, by far the absolute worst time to start a predictions channel, but I decided to do it anyways with the mindset that no matter what, I would not give up. And over the last three years, they have been by far the best three years of my life, not only for me, but for my family. We were able to experience the parks as well as I can share memories with my wife, my kids, and myself and visit as many theme parks as possible. People like to say life is like a roller coaster, and it really is. But I like to think if you don't like your life, then RMC it. Make a change today for the positive then each day implement one positive change and I guarantee you, you're gonna get out of your rut, you're gonna start thinking more positive and you're gonna have a better outlook on life. And without roller coasters and theme parks, I honestly do not know where I'd be right now because theme parks consume so much of my daily life, I don't know where that energy would go elsewhere. With that being said, please share your story with me of how roller coasters changed your life in the comments. I would love to hear it. And I'm probably gonna do another video just like this, maybe in six months or to a year. So if you wanna be a part of the next one, feel free to share with me in the comments that you do and keep a lookout for future video or community post about a unique opportunity so you can be a part of a theme park predictions video as well. With that being said, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate each one, each like, each view, every one of you. And as always, think positive, even if you're having a bad day, smile today, and of course, keep riding coasters.